Hi guys, welcome back to RJ Scale Ships. Um, in this video, I'm going to explain to you how we do rat lines. Now, I'm getting a lot of people asking me of recent um, times um, how we do these, um, mainly because you know they're intimidated by them, and I can relate to this actually because when I was building my HMS Victory. The one thing that I was petrified of before anything else was all the shrouds and the rat lines. Um, and like many things in life, it's just the unknown. Um, the unknown, because you don't know what you're doing, it can seem really intimidating. But I can assure you now, it's not. Um, they're actually quite easy. Um, they're very, very time consuming and can be quite repetitive. But it's not a difficult thing at all. It's just that where you don't know um, how to do them, they can seem very very intimidating but don't worry because i'm going to show you how to do them um now on the bigger models um hang on before i do that bit first things first you're going to need some decent tweezers to work with um and you're going to need a decent pair of um small scissors you don't want anything too big because believe me there's nothing worse than halfway through your job you cut the wrong line so you want some nice small precise scissors um now I've done a, a sort of a mock-up here of, of shrouds, okay? So we've got five shrouds, and we want our rat lines to go across. Now, to attach our, our rat lines to the first shroud, normally, on the bigger kits, what we would do is we'd wrap the first shroud around, like so, and then we would literally lash around that to secure it to the shroud, okay? On the smaller models, it's not quite that easy. Um, so... I'm going to do it the easy way. Okay, so for the first shroud, all I've done is the light, the thread that I'm going to use for my rat lines, I've now knotted small knot to the first shroud. So it's now fixed. Okay. Now, the next job will be to do the clove hitch around the second shroud. Now, this is the, the knot that most people get confused with. I'm not sure how they do it. Um, once you get the hang of the clove hitch, you'll find that as you're going along, you'll have perfect straight rat lines. Okay, it'll always be level, it's all going in the same direction. Um, if you tie them wrong, this is where the thread can be all over the place. So the next job is like you say, it's a, um, the clove hitch. So all we do, making sure you've got tweezers in hand. Now I'm working from left to right. Obviously some people might want to go right from left. If you do that, then it's just everything I'm doing now, but reverse it, okay? So the first thing we do for them now, we're gonna do it around this next next shroud, is we go around that shroud and over the top, okay? So we're going over the thread. I hope you can see that, yeah? Then we're gonna go round again. This time, make sure you're on the inside of the thread you've just done, this time we're gonna go underneath, grab, and pull through. Okay, so it looks like this. Yeah, that's it guys. Doesn't look like much, does it? Okay, but as you pull this taut, as I'm pulling off to the right, I use the tweezers to help close the knot up. You'll notice, look, it'll look a little bit like, um, if I, if I just stretch this out a bit more so you can see it, Looks a little bit like a figure of eight. You see that? Yeah. And then as you pull it, you're just using obviously the tweezers to keep, you know, keep the, the shroud where you want it. A little bit of a tug, a little bit of a pinch. Okay. And there. Just pull that down a bit. And there's your first rat line. That's it. That's a clove hitch, guys. And then, once you're here, we do exactly the same thing, okay? So we're gonna go round and over the top. Okay, so we're here. There you go. Oh, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. So there you go, we've gone all the way around the next shroud. So around the front of it, around the back, over your rat line thread. So we're here. Then we're gonna do exactly the same, but this time we're gonna go underneath. Now, this is where people make the mistake. If you grab that thread on the left-hand side of the one you've already done, you've messed up. You've gotta go in the middle here. So basically, when you grab the thread underneath, oh, my hands are shaking again, hang on two seconds, guys. Uh, 
Whew, sorry. So basically, oh, I ain't making much difference. Basically, as you go underneath what you've already done, okay, so you're going around and underneath, you've got to grab that thread, okay, in between the shroud and the thread you've already done and pull it through the middle, okay. As you pull, using your tweezers obviously to help hold the shroud because as you pull, you can see the shroud moving. You want to keep the shroud where it is and then just help the knot pinch pinch and there's your second shroud okay and using your tweezers you can always adjust them slightly up or down the shroud if you need be I haven't done it here but normally all my shrouds um, and thread etc will be um, coated in wax um, this is what I get okay blocks of beeswax off of eBay uh, or any craft shop really um, God, so cheap I think I got about a pop, box of five for about three pound fifty I think it was it was so cheap okay but basically all you do um, with your threads is you just you just get your thread I know it's difficult to see guys let me just pull this camera out for you for a minute okay you just get your, get your block you put the thread in between your thumb and the block and you literally pull through turn it round do exactly the same you do that a couple of times and you get a nice coat of beeswax over your threads and it stops them from furring up okay right so so back to the shroud so there we go we've got two there now so again over and around the next shroud okay doesn't have to be tight this time around and under grabbing that thread in between the you, the thread you've just done and the shroud okay and pull it through you'll know if you're doing it right because when you pinch together let's see if i can get it okay you'll get that figure of eight look okay and then holding the shroud roughly in place with your tweezers a little tug and there you go there's the next shroud that's uh, next shroud what am i talking about the next right line there you go and again on the last one around and over the top around and in between right through the middle okay pull hold your shroud roughly in place guiding the knot obviously with the tweezers and pull tight and there you go guys that's it when you've done one complete line, a tiny dab of normal modeler's glue on each knot. Just the knots. Um, the reason I, I, I just use normal Revel modeling glue, um, it reacts really well with thread. What happens is um, it soaks into the knot and then it goes really hard. Um, in, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes. Once you've got to that point, this is the most delicate part. I'm going to have to pull this camera out a bit here. Once you've got it how you want it, using your scissors, now, holding this off to the side, pinch the thread and then slide, not too hard, obviously, slide all the way up until you feel that knot. All right, so... When you feel the knot to the right of your scissors, snip. Okay. Do exactly the same on the left side. Slide along till you feel the knot. But keeping the knot, you want to feel the knot, not go over the knot. So you're feeling the knot, keeping the knot off to the left, snip. And there you go, guys. Okay. That is how... We, ach we achieve rat lines, okay? This is called a clove hitch. I'm going to just go very quickly. I'm just going to run through it one more time for you. So I'm just going to quickly tie a knot. So I'm just going to go, oh, excuse me. I'm just find it a little bit awkward to work around this camera, so bear with me. So I'm going to make one knot all the way down, so about there. We go here. Right, there we go. Right. So 
very, very quickly. Here we go. I'm going to run through it. I'm going to show you how this is done. So I'm going to try. I won't go too fast, but I'll speed it up a bit, and hopefully you can follow. Here we go. So grabbing your thread. Okay. So around and over. Around, under, and through the middle. Okay. This will give you what looks like. I hope you can see it. A figure of eight. Okay. Using your tweezers to hold everything still. Okay. Put in the thread. Okay, and obviously guiding it. That's gone a bit. I'm a bit high there. While I'm working over this this uh, camera. Okay. There's one. Again, around the next next uh, shroud and over. Around the next shroud. Uh, the same shroud, sorry, under and through the middle. You've got to make sure it goes through the middle, not around the outside of what you've already done. Through the middle, okay? Pull, using your tweezers, obviously, to guide the knot and hold your rat lines in, um, your shrouds in place. There's the next one, okay? So, next shroud, around the shroud and over the top. Around the shroud and through the middle. Okay. Again, like I said, it creates like what looks like a figure of eight. Okay. Guiding everything with, with this, holding your shroud roughly where it is. If you don't if you don't do this, you're gonna pull, see? So you want to hold this right using using your tweezers to, to hold the shroud, guide the knot. Okay, and pinch if you need be. Okay. And there we go. That's the next one. Okay, and last but not least, around the last shroud and over the top. Okay. Around the shroud, but underneath and through the middle. Okay. And that is it. Again, holding that last shroud, guiding the knot little pinch you don't want to be going ott with this just a tiny little pinch okay and now if i just bring these down because i need a bit and you can adjust them you can just slide them up and down your shrouds if they need to be if they need to go up or down and that is it okay and you like to say get your little little your glue tiny drop just so it soaks in on the knot itself don't have to worry about the rest of the rest of it just those knots get your scissors okay slide along the knot till you feel it and then cut okay slide along the knot till you feel it to the right of the scissors cut and there you go that's it um not perfectly straight, I do apologise, but it's a bit awkward trying to <laughs> do these over a camera. Um, but that is basically it, okay? So on the smaller models, you know, you could, I mean, the lashings would be absolutely minute. If you can do that, great. So normally we just go with the thread around that shroud and lash them to the shroud. Um, but when you've got really tiny models, it can be really difficult. So, and with tiny thread, you hardly even see a knot. So a tiny little knot to attach it to your shroud. And then basically, it's a clove hitch from then on. Even the last one is a clove hitch. Now, when you cut your threads, make sure you've left the glue on those knots for a good 15, 20 minutes. Okay, otherwise you'll find if it's still wet, you could cut your knot and then the thread could come undone as you're working your way on up here. Because obviously as these are moving, you'll put stress on. But once it's set, it's absolutely fine. Okay, so I hope that explains the clove hitch um, and how to do your rat lines. It's, it is really, really simple. Once you get the hang of the clove hitch, you're fine. You'll just be doing one after the other. Okay, um, the only downside, there is, there is no quick way or any magic way of doing them quickly. You know, it is, a, I mean, with me, you know, I put on my favorite music, um, I've got a cup of coffee and... 
I just get into the zone and I just keep going at it. And I suppose if I'm lucky, uh, I mean, most of you are familiar with my Solier wheel. Um, I can usually do, I mean, it took me a day to do the lower main mast uh, rat lines on the port side of my Solier wheel. So it is very time consuming. You know, and you think you've got the lower rat lines, those on the top mast, and you've got the, the top gallant. You know, so it, there's a lot of them, um, and it is very time consuming. But if you do it right, you know, you'll get really nice rat lines, and you'll get to the point where you'll get used to doing them so much, and, and you'll get the tension in the knots perfect that you can have if you look a little bit of a natural you can't really see it in the video from that angle but you get a, like a, just a very nice natural dip in the line okay but that's it that is it guys okay you've already seen my video on how how i tie uh, the dead eyes to the shrouds um because normally i mean here i've just done a mock-up obviously with some pins and some thread um but normally obviously at the bottom here you'd have the, the you'll have the dead eyes um that, that um create the lanyards and etc for your shrouds so but that's it okay not then from the knot onwards all the way to the last one it's always a clove hitch uh making sure as soon as you finish at one end dab of glue on each one um but leave for about 15 minutes before you cut the access thread off you can move on to the next one but just don't cut the access off until you've let it set for a while um, and then you just move on to the next one, next one, next one, until you get to the top. Now, I don't, a lot of people do similar things to this, but with white paper, and they have all the lines drawn on the back. So, what they're doing is they're following the lines on the paper, so they have perfectly even rat lines all the way up. Now, I don't do this, I do all my rat lines free line, uh, freehand. I don't use any measuring tools, I just do what looks right. Um, I'm quite lucky really to have a good eye like that now I would suggest maybe from the start having all your lines set out on a piece of paper you put the piece of paper behind your shroud like this and then you basically do your shroud uh, your rat lines sorry to match the lines on the paper um, it will help you to start with to make because you know when you've never done these before trying to focus on getting nice straight rat lines is hard enough let alone having to work out how, how uh, the distance in between etc 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 so having a bit of paper behind to help you is probably a good idea um, and then when you when you're when you're used to them you know you can lose a bit of paper and you'll just do them by eye you know it's what looks right um, and you'll know if you're doing them right because as you're doing them you know the ships behind you behind it so you can you can see scale wise okay if it's right or if they're well and truly out okay um and if you see one the gap between one is slightly more or slightly less like you say you can always slide the knots up and down with your tweezers like sorry there goes my camera like so you see so you can still slide the knots up and down um, if they're slightly out, but you will get the hang of it um, And before you know it you'll be going through rat lines like you've been doing them for the last 50 years um, You know, they're not difficult guys. It's just it is very very intimidating to think oh my god You know, I've got all these lines. I've got to do on shroud. I've never done it before and you are talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of clove hitches on a ship so it is very very intimidating and you're not alone because i was exactly the same and anyone that says they wasn't a little bit um you know miffed by them you know a bit intimidated by them is a liar you know they are when you've never done them before they are a little bit <sighs> crikey you know it is a bit of a, a task and a half but like every every model up you know once they get into it and they've done them they do them as if they it's a walk in the park okay so yeah that's it guys that's how you do rat lines so i hope that's helped um if you've got any more questions just give us a shout 
Um, I'm always on my Instagram page, RJ Scale Ships. Um, you can also find RJ Scale Ships and Replicas on Facebook. I'm usually on there as well, so you can always drop me a message. Um, you know, if there's anything else you want to know, or um, if you've got any other um, ideas for me to do a video that you'd like to see, just let me know, um, and I'll try and sort something out. But but in the meantime, you know, enjoy, um, practice. I mean, that's a great way to practice as well. Is set up a, a sort of a mock model like this of rat lines, uh, sorry, of shrouds, and then practice your rat lines uh, before you actually do it on your ship. It's a great way to practice. Um, but anyway, practice, enjoy, and just keep on building. All right, and you'll be doing these and knocking them out in no time. All right, take it easy, guys. Enjoy, and I'll speak to you soon. See you later. Bye bye.